is Ann Terrio coming to you from my home office in Florida. I wanted to share a quick video with you. Last night, um, I was watching a video by Tony Robbins on why some people take massive action and others don't. And I could really relate to it because um, it's a direct reflection of what happened to me in my life seven years ago. So this is not motivational by any means. This is mind strategy. This is total strategy. And um, I hope it helps you understand that you can, you can achieve anything you want uh, simply by changing your, your thought process and the way you think about things and yourself. So what Tony has done is he's, he puts things into four different boxes, okay? Potential, action, results, and belief. And so <clears throat> what happens is um, people... People who build businesses, people who have great ideas of different things they'd like to accomplish in their life, it doesn't matter what it is, um, they sabotage uh, their, their potential uh, with, with limiting beliefs of themselves and what they can actually achieve. So when you, when you limit your beliefs, you... Uh, don't think you have the potential to actually create that type of lifestyle that you desire. So what happens is your very limiting beliefs in yourself, uh, there may be a little bit of belief there. You may join a network marketing business or uh, you may start to build a business, um, something that you've done outside your comfort zone. Or you may leave, even leave a job. And a few weeks later down the road, you, you start seeing some challenges and, you know, you cave, you you let it you let it uh, you let it take over, and you quit. So it's very frustrating for for leaders to see their 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 friends, their coworkers, their team members. It's very frustrating for people who know how this works uh, see the potential in someone when they don't see it in themselves. So my my goal here is to help you understand that you already have the potential. So this is what happens. Uh, you, ha you will have a limiting belief. You'll, th you'll say, okay, I could probably do this. I'll probably do this, okay? And so, uh, but you're, you don't think you have enough potential to do it. Therefore, you take very little action, okay? You'll take some action, okay? And your action is, is directly uh, proportional to the results you get. All right, so you take a little bit of action and you get very little results. So you come back here and say, see, this doesn't work. I told you I couldn't do it. All right, and that's very common. So that could be a continuous cycle for you. So continuous that it can drive you right down into the gutters. All right, it's, it's debilitating. It's... It's, it's self-sabotage, and it's very unhealthy, and it can lead to deep depression and a variety of other things. So the difference between people who do see success and the people who don't is the amount of action they take. And what happens is people that take massive action, their mindset becomes a place of certainty, all right? They are faced with situations and circumstances in their life where their back is against the wall. They are facing foreclosure, bankruptcy, uh, a broken marriage, a relationship, uh, piles of bills, you know, stacks of bills piling up, bill collectors calling, or they completely, you know, don't like the person they are, they don't like your, their job. So, what happens at that time is something in the mind just shifts, okay? This is what happened to me. Um, I had worked 18 years at, uh, at a medical center. I was a lab tech. And for 18 years, I had done my job. But there was, there was something one day. I looked in the mirror before I went to work, and I said, you know, I did not like the person I was looking at. And this was not just that day. This had been accumulating for a while, you know, seven or eight months. I was like, I am so unhappy. What is my problem, Okay. Why do I feel this way? And I figured it out. It's because I was not making a difference in anybody else's life. All right? I was not making a difference in my own. I was unhappy with myself. Um, you know, I had, I had gone through a lot of different challenges. So it was either take massive action now or 
you know, this is the way your life is going to be, period. It's not going to get any better unless you do something about it. So it's like, uh, like I said, a switch just flipped and I knew I had to take massive action. So I gave my notice, I worked my two weeks, and I walked out the door. Zero plans. Nothing planned, okay? I took some time. I evaluated my life. <clears throat> I thank the universe for sending the, the right folks to me at that time because there were people that believed in me and saw potential in me I didn't even see in myself, okay? So they drove my um, desire to create something that I truly wanted uh, even higher. So I thank those people. Uh, very grateful to them. And so three months later, I was knee-deep in landscaping business that I created with my own two hands. And there's a certain person in my life that inspired me and saw something in me, and I thank her every day for that. I'm so grateful. So what happens when you're faced with the circumstances that your back is against the wall and you feel like you have to take massive action, your belief in yourself changes completely, okay? That belief changes. Like, you flip a switch and you know you can do it. You know you have to do it, okay? There is no other way, okay? Your potential has not changed, and that has always been there, all right? The potential's there. What happens to your potential is it's unlocked, all right? It's unleashed, okay? You begin taking massive action, massive action, whether it's, you know, whatever it is, building your business, making phone calls, doing whatever you have to do to get, get the results. You get massive results, massive results, okay? Whether it's making your first two, $300 in your business, um, whatever it is, okay? You get massive results. You come back here. What's happened to your belief? You turn around and you say to yourself, geez, I knew I could do it. I don't know why I thought I couldn't. I knew I could do this, okay? So now what happens is you gain momentum, all right? And you start over again. And you the circle keeps going. You see that you're, you unleash more potential. You take more action. You get more results, massive results. Perhaps you just made $1,000 in a week and you said, holy Good Lord, I am a freaking rock star. You know what I'm saying? So that is where the belief, it all starts with the belief. You have to create that belief, okay? And what happens to some people, it happened to me, I had to literally eliminate, um, I eliminated people, uh, circumstances, and uh, a lot of situations uh, in my life that were not serving me, okay? A daily dose of negative energy was not what I needed to grow, all right? So there was portions of my life that were eliminated. Do I miss that? No, I don't, okay? I don't miss those people. I don't miss those circumstances. I don't miss that lifestyle, all right? I made some huge changes in my life, a lot of changes. Um, I didn't watch TV for about two years, and I just threw myself into my work, okay? Do what you have to do massively for a short period of time so you can live the type of lifestyle that you want, okay, and not having to work so hard later on down the road, okay? It's a sacrifice you make, but you have to do it if you want to achieve the results you want, okay? So this is, this is where it all stems from, is the belief, and you have to believe, okay, as soon as you start believing and you make that decision that I have the potential. I am going to do this come hell or high water, okay? It doesn't, it didn't matter to me how many people said no to my home business. I didn't care if 100 people said no, okay? The phone didn't ring for three weeks during my landscaping season one year when the economy was horrible, okay? Did I get discouraged? No. Why? Because I had a vision of where I wanted my life to be. I never lost that vision. I held on to that vision every single moment of every single challenge I face. Okay, I never lost it. And so that vision I created seven years ago, okay, when I finally flipped the switch on my belief of what I could achieve, that, that vision I had is exactly where my life is today. Exactly. All right? So the universe will respond to you in one of three ways. All right? You, he, the universe will say yes. The universe will say, not yet, because I don't believe you're ready. And the universe will also say, uh, I have something better in mind for you. 
okay? So there were times when I was not ready to receive the great things I have now, all right? There was a time I was doing a lot of self-sabotaging, a lot of detrimental thinking, okay? And now I'm getting the results I want each and every day because I changed the belief in myself and what, what I could have and what everybody truly deserves. So I hope this helped you. Um, you know, just, just believe in yourself. And if you need someone to believe in you, I believe in you. And this is Ontario, and I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.